Welcome to uh, your next tutorial here. Uh, we're going to call this one Linear Drawing. So if you want to get this thing started off right, let's just do this real quick. Save as. Um, save it as your last name. So, voice, not you, not me, but you say your last name. I actually had someone turn in something last week that had Woith on the last name, so that was fun. I'm going to check all that. And we'll call this one Linear Drawings. Okay. Let's go ahead and save it right before we start so it's just done. Okay. So I have them all up here. You have to choose six. I feel that's a fair number to do. I'm going to do these two with you guys just to, just to get you a little bit of a kickoff here. And um, I also want to double check some measurements too to make sure everything works out well. And teach you a few new functions and things as we go through this. Are you ready? Okay. First thing I want you to do. You're going to choose layer properties because I want to make a dimension layer. I already have one here, but I'm going to make another one. So one more time, click on layer properties. Click on the little star thing or press alt N. Call it dimension. You can call it dim if you want to. Change the color to red, please. Press OK. Then you got that done and then close it out. OK, when you start off, you should be on the zero layer. OK, that's your normal layer that you work on. I'm going to move my stuff over here just so it's a little bit easier to see, but here we go. Start with your line. Click. Go up five. Don't worry about the angle. I'm going to show you how to do that with a different command here in a moment. Go to the right seven. Go down. I'm just going to do a no track here. Touch. Go over. Click. Then if you look at the measurements, it says... Now, if you're looking at the worksheet, I don't have measurements on all the sides just to relieve a little bit of the clutter but they all mirror each other. So one over, one up, then one left, one down, or just O-track that, three over, okay, that should get you to right here, then one more time, one up, one left, down, and attach. Okay, let's tackle this thing right here. Okay, that's called a chamfer, okay? If you're an icon person, the chamfer is located underneath fillet, so it's right here. I like to use commands, but for the sake of uh, a video, I think showing you the icons, it's C-H-A, if you want a quick command, but let's click it. Um, ah, shoot. Okay, so I was trying to get down to the menu down here. So if I go chamfer, apologize for that, you see we have some options. I want to go distance. Okay. My distance is one. Press enter. Then press enter again because it looks to default the previous one. Click and click and there we go. If you didn't get that, rewind and try it again. I'm going to press enter because it reduces the last command. And then you see my distance are already set. Click and click and you got that done here. Good job. Okay, so next are my circles. So the best way to do this, I find, is I'm going to do some offsetting. So type an O, Enter. Type 1 and press Enter. Cl click your line, move it over. Click this line here, move it over. Got that? Okay, your circles are in diameter. If you want to go radius, they're 0.5. If you want to go to the diameter, it's 1. Click and type 1 enter. I'm going to show you a quick way to finish this here in a minute. Click this, 1 enter. Now watch me. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a faster way on this. I want you to click both your circles like this. Okay. The quick command for copy is CO. So type CO. Then I want you to click the middle of one of these, it doesn't matter which one, and move it down. So I'm making a copy of it. Now the ones lower to it are 2 inches down. So just type in 2 enter, and you're done. Those are there now. You may now erase these two lines right here and delete them. Cool, huh? That just saved you a little bit of time. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the little uh, box here in the middle, this little slot right here, and then we'll be good. Awesome? Cool. Let me find my guy. There he is. Okay. 
to start this off, I'm actually, I just added these measurements because I realized I was missing something. And I thought I was. So it's 0.5 down and one inch over from this corner right here. Okay. So that's where my starting point is going to be at. So here's the best way to do this I have found in my experience. So I can click line. I'm going to click on this corner right here and go one over. And I'm going to go down um, 0.5. I did red lines by accident, but actually it wasn't a bad idea because I'm going to go back and erase those. It doesn't matter which way you do it as long as you do it. Okay, now I, I just have to draw it out. So go over three. Go down one. Go over one. Go up 0.5. Go to the right one. Hopefully you're reading the measurements now and not just following me. This point five, and I'm just going to O-track this. Boom, boom. Okay, one down, one to go. So you, so you may be asking yourself, wait, how do I do this next one? Let me show you. So if you're looking at the drawing itself, let's go back over here to this. It's one inch in between these. Now, I would like to show you guys how to do a mirror because we can finish this one up with one step if we can do that. Uh, otherwise, you could draw a line down one and then recreate this. It's just a flip of what, it, of what we did. So here's how we're going to finish this one up. So I'm going to keep this red one on here just so I know that this is a line that I'm going to erase, which is kind of a smart idea. Okay. So draw the one inch line going down. Here we go. Type in MI for mirror, or the mirror command is also right here on your screen. I'm going to select this stuff right here, so this this area. It says select objects, and you're going to press the enter button. Your mirror line is going to be this midpoint right here. So click it, move your mouse over, click, press enter, and you're done. Great job. Go ahead and erase the lines. Now, here's your next step. Dimensions. Dimension, 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 dimension. I'm going to move this thing over here just so it's easier to see. Okay. I would like yours to look as close to mine as possible. So, you're going to click on your dimension layer. You might be on there, you might not. A and go linear. The largest dimension should always be at the top. Okay. So, if you do this perfectly, it will look exactly like mine. And that's what I'm going to start to look for. So one inch there. Now to make your life easy, just press the enter button after you get done with each measurement. That way you don't have to keep going back and doing it again and again and again. You don't need one here because you can do the math here because one minus five or six minus seven is one. You don't need every single measurement. That's why you don't, that's why you will often see me not put measurements and everything because you just don't need it. Press enter again. I need one here. You're just doing linears. Nothing special. So go, go ahead and add all your measurements. I'm not going to spend the whole video doing this because it's a bit tedious and I still have one more drawing I want to do. So there we go. So if I go ahead and finish your measurements and then uh, pause the video and get that done. It should look like mine when you get it finished. Okay? pause here for a moment and we'll do one more drawing. I want to do this one right here. Now let's do this one. This one might be a bit more challenging. So I'll do it just right next to here. You ready? Here we go. Switch my measurements back to zero. If you ever have your measurements on the wrong layer, all you have to do is just highlight it, go up here, and then change it to the zero. Okay? So I'm going to undo that quickly. So line. So draw a 7 by 4 box. So 7, 4, this down, box. Okay? Got that? Good. Okay. Fillet is next. And my fillet measurement for this, I believe, is the same as the other ones. But I want to make sure it is 
They are one. Well, I'm glad I'm doing a few of these. There's four of them that are one inch. Okay, so let's do fillets. F enter, R enter. Okay, you got to type in one enter. Hit multiple. Click around the horn here. Baseball term. That's when they pass it around the bases. There we go. Now let's get the circles inside. Let's do some offsetting. O enter. One is all you need. Go up, go left, go right, go down. Your circles go in all four of these corners. Your circles are just a diameter of one. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, oops, I'm on the wrong layer. Switch it back. One. Now watch this. If I click this one and I click the middle, I can do a copy. Dump that, dump that, and dump that. Sweet, huh? Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Erase these. Sorry, I'm going a little fast here, but I want to make sure I get enough time in this video. To start off this middle slot right here, you're going to click line first. Then you're going to click on the midpoint over here and go over two inches. This will give me my starting point for this circle right here. This is radius of 0.5. So I'm going to click up here and go radius. I'm going to click this and type 0.5. Which I get it, that's the same size as these, but we're just doing it this way. Okay, once again, I'm going to do a copy of the circle. Click the middle, click copy, move it over, type 3 enter. You're almost done. Line, draw a line on top, enter, enter, line on bottom. There we go. Erase that, trim, boom, finished. All you have left to do are some dimensions and you're done. So let me review one more thing real quick. If you're doing a radius dimension that has more than one, you go up here and you click radius, double click it, and if there's four of them, you put four X. Okay, same thing with this circle here, or with this fillet here, oops, sorry. I'm going to click the circle right there. There we go. Oops. I apologize. That should be a diameter circle. So there's four of those. So double click that. And you're going to go for X. I need a radius one again. Right here. And that would be 2X. Nice, huh? So all you have to do next are your linear ones. So I'm going to go ahead and dock those in. Now, on these sides, it's good to click the top of these lines. I'm going to bring this out over here. Okay. You ever see something like this? That means you probably miss, you probably did not click on the correct thing. So make sure you click on the dots. Ah, there we go. Much better. Then we'll get the other few in here, and then uh, we'll be pretty set. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up your measurements, and you've got these done. Make sure your larger measurements go on the outside. If you need room, just click them and drag them up like this. Okay. And hopefully you're doing pretty good. Keep rolling on this, and if you have questions, please ask. Otherwise, I'm just going to stop this for now, and you can finish up your measurements, and then we're good. All right. Thank you very much. You guys did awesome. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.